Scientific and medical progress often treads a path shadowed by complex history, particularly when ethic and morality seem to be vanished. Let's delve into notable examples where significant discoveries emerge from various unethical practices. From experiments with war slaves to radiation attacks on innocent people, historical moments where medicine was not interested in saving lives. In the dark times of World War II, the Nazis conducted numerous medical experiments on concentration camp prisoners. Despite the sheer brutality and inhuman nature of these experiments, certain findings, especially in the field of hypothermia, have been referenced in subsequent medical literature. For instance, the Dachau Hypothermia Project, where the endurance of humans to cold before death was tested, along with methods of sterilization on men and women without anesthesia. This is not to mention the bone transplants, experiments with tuberculosis, malaria, and all sorts of poisons. Undoubtedly, these experiments laid many foundations of modern medicine through torture and murder. The Stanford Prison Experiment of 1971 is another ethically dubious experiment took place, this time in the field of psychology. Orchestrated by psychologist Philip Zimbardo, the Stanford Prison Experiment was designed to study the psychological effects of perceived power and imprisonment. College students were randomly assigned roles of guards and prisoners in a simulated prison environment. However, the study quickly escalated as those assigned as guards exhibited increasingly abusive and authoritarian behaviors towards the prisoners. From psychological humiliation, sleep deprivation, degrading sanitary conditions, food and water restrictions to the use of shackles and chains, this psychological descent into cruelty highlighted the potential for power to corrupt and the ease with which ordinary individuals could commit acts of inhumanity. While the Stanford Prison Experiment provided unprecedented insights into human psychology, particularly the dynamics of power, authority, and obedience, it also stood as a stark example of the dangers of unethical research practices. The lack of proper oversight and safeguards led to emotional emotionally scarring experiences for the participants, raising serious questions about the responsibilities of researchers towards their subjects. The MK Ultra Project was a top-secret experiment by the U.S. government to study the effects of radiation on human beings. However, thanks to the Freedom of Information Act, FOIA, many of the project's documents are now publicly accessible. The trials conducted by the CIA on humans were intended to identify and develop new substances and procedures for use in interrogations and torture, aimed at weakening the individual and forcing confessions through mind control techniques. Often, people were drugged with LSD to the point of a zombified state. They also sought to use radiation for mass control. Innocent townspeople, including fathers, mothers, children, and grandparents, were all exposed to harmful radiation that destroyed their bodies without their knowledge or consent. Undoubtedly, this was one of the most inhumane and immoral experiments in human history. J. Marion Sims, often hailed as the father of modern gynecology, embarked on a journey in the 19th century that would leave an indelible mark on medical history. His focus, the treatment of vesico-vaginal fistulas, a debilitating condition that plagued many women of his time. However, the path he chose to achieve this was mired in deep ethical controversy. In a time when the echoes of slavery still resounded, Sims conducted surgical experiments on enslaved women. Without the use of anesthesia, which was available but sparingly used, these women endured excruciating procedures as Sims honed his surgical techniques. Each operation, performed in the absence of proper pain relief, was not just a physical ordeal, but a testament to the women's resilience. Despite the inhumanity of his methods, Sims' work led to groundbreaking advancements in gynecological surgery. His techniques to repair vesico-vaginal fistulas laid the foundation for modern surgical methods in the field. Reflecting on these unsettling 
thrilling chapters in the history of scientific and psychological research brings us to a profound ethical dilemma. How do we balance the relentless pursuit of knowledge with the imperative to respect and protect human dignity? The stories of these experiments, riddled with ethical breaches, challenge us to confront the darker side of human curiosity and ambition. As we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible, let's open a dialogue about the lessons learned from these past transgressions. What measures can we implement to ensure that the pursuit of understanding never again overshadows the value of human life and rights? I invite you to share your thoughts and join in this crucial conversation as we navigate these complex ethical waters together, striving for a future where scientific progress and ethical responsibility walk hand in hand.